squared, 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 squared. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is M Squared. Thank you for joining me on my first tutorial. I'm going to show you my template that I use in Logic Pro 10.6.1. I always like to start with a blank software instrument track, which is what you see here. INS 24. That's my just on the fly pick whatever instrument I want, whatever plugins I want. My next track is my sample manager. That's the ADSR sample manager. So the sample manager gives me the ability to organize all of my sounds on my external hard drive. And I can pick by category. I can pick by file, where the file is, uh, sound name. If I want a ride instrument, I can pick and go through. These are all the rides on my hard drive so so I can just quickly go in here and grab sounds I have kick 2 which is a kick synth plugin that I like to use I can quickly come in and start laying a kick down if I'm ready to battery is next I routed it out to the uh, 16 channel I really really like this because I can go in and just pick any instrument I want, click and drag it in each cell. I have routed the output to a direct out. So they're all separated on their own channels. So then when I'm ready to separate and bounce my instruments down, I can do that immediately. The next piece would be the Logic drum synth. This is Logic's native drum synth here. You can use kicks, hats, anything you want. I love this because I'm a drums guy. I really, really love drums. I love samples. My next track would be another instance of battery. This is just to have a free flowing instance of battery. None of the cells are going to any particular routing process. I just have it standard. Um, so when you open it up, I can put different kits from the library or individual sounds if I want. So then I have Atlas, another drum plugin. I just love drums. So I like to have all my options open at all times for different drum sounds, as you can see. Then I also use the MPC Essentials software, which is really all of my sounds. This can go so I can sort through my external hard drive of sounds really quickly. I can just click and drag one to a pad if I want, and then I'll have everything ready to go. I can use my controller. I can use the mouse. Next, another drum plugin, Captain Beat. I can go in, just pick a pattern. You can play that pattern. It'll just play. Okay, so we've got that. Next is Serato Sample. I love Serato Sample because you can just click, drag an audio file in, let's grab this drum beat here, throw it in Serato Sample, and it's already ready to go. Find samples. Right away, it separates all the sounds. So we're good there. Loop Cloud, I love using Loop Cloud. So I have the Loop Cloud plugin set up here. I like using Noise Connect as well, which is another great website for sounds. If you guys haven't tried it before, definitely check it out. Go in and pick all different sounds from different playlists to drums and sounds and melody sounds, you name it. They've got pretty much every category you could think of. You can go through, you can pull the sounds right out into your session if you want. You can just drag and drop like this. And now it's in your session. You can move it, do whatever you want with it. Next, I have it as Polyplex, but it's still open. It's just to remind me to use Polyplex if I want to use it. I just named it that. Next one is the Quick Sampler and Logic. Again, it acts very similar to Serato Sample, where I can, again, just drag, click and drag any sound file that I want. And Logic. This is their native sampler. It will automatically organize the sounds and chop them up in order. 
And then you can go on to make a drum machine designer out of that. Next is the drum machine designer. This is native to Logic's plugins. This will come stock in your Logic Pro. Again, ability for me to drag and drop samples right onto the cells as I choose. I'll grab the same sample and it will give me the sampler features. I can go in, have it sliced again and decide I want one shot or classic. We started here. That's classic or you can do just do a one shot. Next, I use Scalar 2 or keys and harmonies and melodic stuff if I want to you know pull up one of my plugins like a Juno 106 for example let's play this scale here so this helps with chords this helps with getting chords structured next is Cthulhu which is a similar plugin but it lets you also use an arpeggiator and it does the chords as well. There's the arpeggiator. It's probably better on, there you go. Like a synth like this. Then you have the chords, which you could do similar thing. Then I have Sublab, which is a really cool plugin for low end sub. And that's always ready to go for low end. The presets are really cool in here and I just love how all the sounds are really hot they're ready to go and um, you don't really have to put too much thought into finding good low end and then you can tweak the settings and do what you want with the envelopes and all that this is just how I like to use it then I have contact I have it set up so you can route each channel individually within contact. So you can open contact. Similar to what we did with battery, I can go through all of my sounds. I can just put up another instrument here, add one here. And then this is two, so that's one. This is two. And everything is chromatically mapped out across the keys. If you're using a controller, if you want one, you have to go back to one here. Next is my MPC 2000 XL that I actually use um, as outboard gear. Uh, it's one of the first pieces of gear I ever got when I knew I wanted to become a producer and start making tracks. So this is a way for me to still go back to the way I started to give me that nostalgic feeling when I'm creating and actually make the song inside of the NPC or make parts of the song inside the NPC. And if I want to, I can transfer those stems back into Logic so that I have that armed and ready to go here. Uh, my microphone, same, I have that here. Sure, SM7B. Reactor, I have this set up here as a MIDI effect so I can use the MIDI effects within Reactor, from Reactor 6. This is just another sub bass. It's just a custom sub bass within Serum. Something I can go to quickly. Once I get the idea, I don't have to waste any time. I could just go right in and lay down the sub bass. Looperator, this gives me an opportunity here to route my sounds or what I've recorded through these different effects and these different patterns that are very randomized. So it's unpredictable what the outcome is going to be. Next is the harmonizer where it acts as like the scalar or the Cthulhu where I can grab chord stabs and piece together chord phrases. I can choose different instruments that I want to use will apply across the board. These MIDI effects will, will apply. And then lastly is the IAC driver bus. If you have a sidechain plugin, like say Kickstart. So if you have a kick that's not four on the floor, you would use something like this IAC driver or a trigger that's not just four on the floor. You would use something like this IAC driver bus to route the trigger through so that the plugin 
can recognize it. So there you have it. There is my official Logic Pro template. This is my go-to pretty much when I'm ready to start every session, when I'm inspired to want to make music. This is what I pull up and this is how I start creating. So thank you guys for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.